your Android phone could be at risk. WhatsApp has launched its much-awaited feature. The week gone by was buzzing with a lot of exciting tech developments and we bring you the most interesting ones in our tech wrap. If you use an Android phone, you have a reason to worry. New vulnerabilities have been spotted in Android phones. You heard that right. The Indian Computer Emergency Response Team, which is mandated to track and monitor cyber security incidents in the country, is warning against multiple high-risk vulnerabilities in Android phones. The security agency points out that if vulnerabilities are exploited, the hacker can gain control of the device. In other words, your Android device is at risk and miscreants can remotely access even the sensitive information stored on your phone. Understand that the scale of the risk can be huge. Why? Because the reported security threats could affect users with smartphones operating on Android 11, Android 12 and Android 13. Google-owned Android currently dominates the Indian smartphone market. Its market share is over 95%, which means the identified risks could potentially affect millions of smartphone users in the country. So, if you're an Android user, we suggest that you immediately update your phone to the latest version of the operating system. WhatsApp has come up with a new feature. Called WhatsApp Channels, it's a broadcast service that enables users to receive private updates from celebrities, sports teams and thought leaders. In other words, this one-way broadcast tool provides a private way to receive updates from people and organizations that matter to users. On WhatsApp, channels are separate from chats and who you choose to follow is not visible to other followers. Meta says users will be able to see recommended WhatsApp channels based on region and popularity. Admins can use channels to send text, photos, videos, stickers and run polls. Similar to WhatsApp chats, you will be able to use emojis to react to messages in a channel. The new feature has been rolled out to users in more than 150 countries, including India. WhatsApp channels will be available globally in the coming weeks. Anyone with a WhatsApp account will be able to create a channel on the app. What if we tell you that an electric car can accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in less than a second? Sounds impossible, right? Well, a group of students from Switzerland has achieved it. Known as MyThun, the vehicle has been built and designed by students from the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology Zurich and the Lucerne University of Applied Sciences. Guinness World Records has confirmed that Maithun has broken the previous world acceleration record for electric vehicles. Maithun clocked a speed of 100 km per hour in exactly 0.956 seconds. The previous record was 0 to 100 km per hour in 1.461 seconds. From battery to circuit boards, everything was developed by the Swiss students. The EV weighs 140 kg. The students used a lightweight carbon and aluminium honeycomb structure to build the vehicle. The single-seater vehicle doesn't feature Formula One-style front or rear wheels. Instead, the team has developed a kind of vacuum cleaner that holds the vehicle down to the ground by suction. After months of testing, TikTok has launched its e-commerce product in the United States. The company says its shopping wing called TikTok Shop will include several features, such as Shop Tab, a marketplace it has been testing on the app since August, and affiliate videos in users' feed that allows creators to earn commissions from products. TikTok's more than 150 million users in the US will now be able to see videos and live streams with links to purchase items on their feed. The aim is to translate the app's cultural relevance among young consumers to sales. The e-commerce platform is launched as TikTok continues to negotiate with the US government over its future in the country. Critics have levied accusations that the social media giant could be a tool for China's government to surveil Americans.